Okay, so, hi again, and, um, so we've just built this simulation here, and this looks a lot like our first demonstration, so we'll go through that now. We have here our first order equation, uh, with input f and a variable tau, so we will rearrange that to have the y dot on the left side, everything else on the right side, and this will, uh, give us our equation to build our math flow diagram down here. Um, we want to simulate this with f equal to zero with uh, non-zero initial conditions and f equal to plus minus one with zero initial conditions on our integrator. Uh, we'll want tau to be equal to 1.5, 0.1, and 0 0.01. So we'll go back here to MATLAB and our workspace. Here's our page where we just built our simulation. Um, so we want to make sure that uh, we have the gain right. So I double click this and we can write our variables right in here. So let's do 1 over tau, just like the equation. And let's try uh, f equal to 1 to start out with. Okay, so since f is 1, we will want to make sure our initial condition matches up with that. It should be 0, so we'll set that to 0. Alright, so it looks like we're all set up to simulate. Press the simulate button. Oh, well, we didn't set tau, so simulate link will beep if you don't set tau. So I'll <laughs> write the tau equal to, let's say, 0 0.5. Okay, now we are definitely ready to simulate. Press that, and let's check our scope. So it goes up here to 1, just like we want. If we wanted a, a better plot, we could go here to the workspace and write plot, and our output variables, var variable is y, so y dot time, comma, y dot signals dot values. And press enter, and now we have a plot. This is a, a plot isn't labeled in any way, it doesn't have grid lines, uh, we didn't adjust the color, the thickness, anything like that. We'll save that for another video. Um, but you can see that you can plot this way using the two workspace block. That's what's allowing us to do that. Um, also in the scope, if you, just a side note, if you wanted to use only a scope, you could do that if you just click the Save Data to Workspace block right here under Data History, under Scope Parameters. And you could t click that, give it a name for the variable, and do the exact same thing. Okay. But here we've done exactly what we wanted to do with our demonstration. Since we have all of those cases, it might be better to write an M file. So I did that, and can pull that M file up here. And here it is. This has all the commands. It sets f tau. Um, it uses the set param command to set the initial conditions on the integrator, and it simulates, and then it plots, and it repeats this for all of our different cases. So all we have to do with this is press the run button once we have the appropriate simulation up, and we have our plot here. And this is all the different cases. You would of course want to set a, uh, a legend up here so that you could tell the different cases apart if you were going to say turn this in for an assignment, but um, this shows us everything that we want to do. Okay, so let's go back to our slide and here we have the output matches exactly and you can see the legend here would make things a little clearer. Okay, so demo two. We have here a second order equation. We have uh, zeta and omega n involved in it. So we rearrange this, and we want to simulate this with f equal to similar conditions as before. Zeta should be large greater than zero, small greater than zero, zero, or less than zero. So here's our math flow diagram and we have that available in MATLAB as well. 
double click that and I have my demo number two up that I've already built. Um, so I'll just go through this real quick. Um, we have our y dot dot. Also, just as a side note, you can double click a line and you can add text to it. Or anywhere in the workspace, you can add some text if you want. Set all of your initial conditions and make sure that your scope and your two workspace block are set up. All of your configuration parameters, again, when we set up that initial simulation, we went through all of these. So make sure it's fixed up, Euler, and that you have a small simulation size, step time size. Okay. And again, I have set up a an M file with all of our commands. This is m mega n equal to 0 0.7 and so forth. Uh, all of our variables. And then set param to set the integrator initial condition equal to 1. And then simulate and plot. I go through all of the steps. So I press simulate. And here we have all of our different cases. You would of course want a legend on this as well just to make it clear. So let's go back to our slide and here we have with the legend um, here I have it written out Zeta but you can have the actual symbol just do a slash and then the symbol name and uh, when you go ahead and plot it it will show up as the symbol instead of the word Okay, so we've got all of our different cases shown up. So here we want uh, demo part three, or, or demo number three, part one. Here we have an uncontrolled rocket problem. So have a uh, tau dot dot equal uh, or minus k one tau. I'm sorry, I'm saying uh, theta. This is a theta equal to k two beta. Beta is going to be our control, so we'll set that equal to zero here. So we end up with uh, theta equal k1 theta. Here's our math flow diagram. So we want to simulate that. Let's go back here. Demo 3. So I have built this here, the uncontrolled rocket problem. And this is the beta block, the uh, constant source, and so I'll get the M file that I've written. Very, very simple M file. K1 and K2 are set to values that we've chosen. And we just simulate and plot. So here we go. And it blows up as we expect very, very quickly. Okay. So going back to our slide, you can see that matches exactly. Okay, and finally, part two of the simulation. Um, here we're going to design the control beta. So we have it 1 over k2 uh, and these two control parameters, g1 and g2, that we're going to design. We have this uh, equation of motion, uh, rearrange it, um, and find out what our g1 and g2 are. So we set g2 equal to 2 zeta omega n and g1 to be k1 plus omega n squared. Doesn't matter what k2 is, so we won't worry about that one. Let's go over here to part 2. We have this m file. And once again, our same demo 3. So let's run the M file. Here I've, I've set the G2 equal to our equation uh, for that and G1 appropriately simulate and plot. So running that, here we have this. This is both the uncontrolled and the controlled together. And if I select and delete the uncontrolled, here we have the controlled and it goes to zero. Looking back at our slide, here we have the equations, the math flow diagram, and 
you can see that it goes to zero as it should. It's controlled.